Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Friday, May 24th, 2019. In both The Lynn Life and The Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions, and all other souls from all other dimensions, as long as the souls are already living by the many search for truth rules already given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us. To clarify what's happening, we are channeling angels and godly presences who are affiliated with planet Earth and who have been working to attempt to get humanity to stop destroying the planet so that something can survive of life and civilization. That's true. We have some good questions from viewers. We've picked out two out of the whole group of questions because they're questions that we also are interested in. Yeah, that's true. The channels, we want to know the answers to these questions also. And it's not that the other questions aren't also important because they are but these seem timely and relevant and we would like to know the answers to them. Is it okay with you if we if we use that means of selecting two questions out of the big list of questions we have? I don't hear a no. No, and the question just rolls up yeah, in that it way. Does it's roll it's up. it's a that's a sure go ahead, yes. No objection. Yeah, Nobody else has a better idea, is the feeling. Yeah, it's that's like, true. It's like, I got nothing else. All right. Okay. Our first questions come from an anonymous emailer who says, I watch the videos and I have a question. What has happened as a result of Gabriel's experiment with Wubby? Was that what Gabriel wanted to happen? <coughs> If not, has anything changed with the angels? The viewer wants to know if that's what Gabriel wanted. I see a, a room of angels and godly presences, and it looks like in European churches where there are these rows where uh, I guess the bishops or whatever used to be able to sit. The important people would sit. Yeah, that's rows true. of chairs for important people. And I see the rows of chairs for important people. I can also see those rows. Good. And I see somebody pushing Gabriel forward. And there's a lot of uh, really uh, strong nodding like, Gabriel, do it, man. You need to say what you need to say. That's true. And he really doesn't want to talk. No. And he's looking at his hands and twisting a piece of paper that might be his notes or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I, I can see that he is twisting a piece of paper. I can see that. And he's saying that that is not at all what he wanted to have happen. And he didn't think that that was going to happen and it's very disturbing to him that that happened That's and true. he wants oh he wants to say that he doesn't have any responsibility That's for what, what he's saying for Dennis what Dennis did yeah. which is exactly what Dennis is saying that That's he doesn't true. have any responsibility for what the right wing hate groups are doing as a result, as a result of his video, oh, it's the same it's the feeling. Same feeling. It's the same feeling. It's the same I feeling. Know this feeling. Uh, Dennis doesn't want to say I. Dennis had a part in this uh, serious situation that you're dealing with with the white right wing hate groups. That's true. And Gabriel also wants to say the same thing. That's true. Okay. Well, what now? So that answers oh. one part of the, the question. question. Can you read the question yeah. again? What has happened as a result of Gabriel's experiment with Wubby? What has happened? Has anything happened as a result of Gabriel's experience? 
Has anything happened as a result of Gabriel's, they're saying experience. They're saying They're experience. not saying experiment. They're making it very clear. Experience with Dennis. Has anything happened as a result of Gabriel's experience with mm -hmm. Dennis? There does seem to be some but he thinking about doing what it might take to head in the direction of revising the briefing manuals for good quality souls accepting assignments so that other good quality souls like our dear friend Gabriel don't get hurt by their exposure to uh, situations like that. I feel that feeling. Okay. What now? What now? What now? What now here on planet Earth? This is a troubled time. Isn't the assignment to keep humanity from destroying the planet? Can you see how, how would the change that you're talking about, how would that make the assignment go better? Well, it wouldn't. That's what someone upstairs just said. No, I don't think it would either. I, we agree with you. Okay. You know what someone is showing as an answer to the question of what happened as a result of Gabriel's experience with Whoopi? Is they're showing what looks kind of like a box or a coffin. It's a long box. I see that coffin. Uh, it looks like a plywood coffin, like a okay, cheap coffin. Okay, because that's what it looked like over here also. Cheap coffin. Oh, they've shown us this before. Yes. And there are screws. I see the screws. Holding a lid of a coffin around, and it's a big coffin. It's not like a single person or even a small group. It's like a coffin for a big thing, a big group. Screws all the way down one side. And someone is saying, well, this happened as a result of that experience. Okay, I see the screws all down one side and all down the bottom. It's like their um, whole place is marked. I see and the whole place is the marked. The screws also. all the way down the one side, all the way down the bottom. Yeah, that's true. And kind of every other spot across the top. Okay, I see that also. And a little bit up the left side. That's true. M maybe the bottom two or something yeah, up the I left side. So. And then the two in the middle, those screws are in there. And then maybe nothing else. That's true. On that left side. Yeah. We do see those screws that are in the coffin, and we've been watching those screws go in. And yeah, that's true. Tell that it would be hard to get out of that coffin. That's true. We know that. For who missed the message, and why do you ask? There is some sad nodding. I feel sad nodding. It and it's starting to feel like that that's feeling like, like when that's not the right not voice the right to listen to, to, so let's stretch longer. That seems calmer. Yeah, it does. Really, friends, what are you guys going to do about this coffin? Let's just lift this coffin okay, up I and say, what now? We know that the coffin contains some representation of something. That's true. And that nails in the coffin is an expression. Oh well, yeah. And these are screws in a coffin, which we know That's from true. our Habitat for Humanity work. That's this true. This would be a lot harder to open this without the appropriate tool. That's true. It would be a lot harder for somebody inside that coffin to, to open break it. break their way yeah, out. With, a screw, with screws. That's, that's going to be hard. A lot harder. Oh, yeah. Someone is saying that they know that we want faster results, but that the wheels turn slowly. The wheels of change maybe turn slowly. The wheels turn slowly. And that's all well and good. And now what, what do we do down here in Ground Zero Planet Earth? Because we're on a collision course with disaster, and it's it's heating up. That's true. 
and the time frames according to the scientists the time frames are shortening and what used to seem like all right it'll be okay till the end of the century and then it seemed like okay it'll be all right until 2050 and then okay maybe it'll be okay until 2030 and now they're saying uh, this could be a problem in five years that's like true a problem problem and some of them are saying it could be a problem in two years that's true But that ten-year window is looking pretty solid based on the numbers of scientists who are saying, wait a minute, this data is so different than what we expected it to be. Our prediction said it would take this long before things go bad. And the data is already coming down right here. They're saying, whoa, we might be looking at 10 years and some people and their graphs look pretty accurate they're saying well look if you just chart it down it's two years that's true something would need to happen the two-year predictors are saying something needs to happen to shift this or right now the graph actually says two years and other scientists are saying surely something will happen so we don't we don't have a lot of time i think that's the point that's true. That's what the data shows, whoever's speaking. There's not a lot of time, and so we hear you saying that the wheels turn slowly, but we don't have that time. That's true. What now? Do you, are you really actually seriously willing to risk this entire civilization? Is that it? Because once there are no more hot showers or easily available food and clean water and safe places in which to sleep. Do you, do you seriously think any good quality soils are going to come down into this dimension anymore? We can barely get good quality soils to come down now. That's true. It's, they're just not going to be able to survive. It's going to be too tough. Can we speed it up? Do you, can you pick up the pace? And I don't know who's talking. No, but somebody's but the, someone who's done their research. They've done their research and they know their stuff and they're saying, can you pick up the pace? We don't have that amount of time. No. We understand that you wish that there were more time. This is exactly what happened with Dennis. He kept saying, I need more time, I need more time. And we're saying, look, we're <laughs> We're all busy people. How many more episodes do you think we should keep Rush producing for That's you to true. produce your one episode? It's just the same. That's true. Asking for time when there is no more time. We're out of time. I'm sorry. What is it? What is it you guys want us to do while you're sitting around taking too long to change your plan? I don't hear anything. Oh, neither. I do see somebody putting another screw in the coffin on I that left side. I hear the sound side. of a screw gun. Zoom, yeah. zoom. To us, it looks like it's on the lower left, between yeah, the middle true. and the bottom, somewhere in there, maybe toward the middle. Maybe yeah, that's true. Maybe now there are three in the middle. Maybe. And then a little bit of a gap, and then a couple toward the bottom. It's true. There might be only one more hole, hole that doesn't have a screw mm -hmm. in it. I think that's true. In that bottom left quadrant, yeah. the top left quadrant might still have more than that still to be installed. That's true. Somebody else might be coming up to put in the missing screw in the bottom left quadrant. That's true. Okay. I think that's good. I, I would say I know that's good. So there's just this top left quadrant still left that needs to be addressed. And then the issue of every other hole across the top. Somebody's doing something with one of those empty holes yeah, across the that. top. It has the feeling of like when people pay their respects to the dead and they yeah, come that's right. put something 
on the coffin or the grave or something. That's right. Coming and putting in the screws. And it, it must be something like, I acknowledge some certain truth. Yeah, that's uh, true. I know this to be true, and I profess that publicly by installing this screw in the coffin of something, something whatever is some in the big coffin, thing. a big thing. Sometimes big things like that are hopes or ideas or That's concepts right. or premises, foundational background beliefs and assumptions, That's right. things like that. What has happened as a result of Gabriel's experiment with Wubby? And then, was that what Gabriel wanted to happen? No, not at all. No, it feels like he did not want that to happen. No, that it was so different than what he wanted to happen. Is there anything more to the question? If not, if it's not what Gabriel wanted to happen, oh, has anything changed with the angels? They just keep showing this coffin. Over and over again. All right. Really big coffin. Okay. Well, what can we do for you guys so that you can complete whatever it is that's going on with whatever that coffin represents? I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not getting anything. No, I hear nothing. And I don't see them either. I think we just live stream this up as high up past them as we're able to because they're kind of freezing That's and they're not feeling. doing what the situation calls for. We can feel the vibration of an appropriate response. Yeah, I can. And here's kind of the vibration of what they're doing. And here's what they're supposed to do when they aren't the same. So we just live stream it up past them. As here's the vibration of appropriate response, whatever it is. This energy ball, this is the appropriate response. and. Here's what they're doing, and they're not the same. Those That's aren't the true. same vibrations. What now? You know what that looks like? What? It's like the question is flying up through dimensions, and when it flies up through a dimension, all the angels turn to stone. They do. And then it goes up to a next dimension and all Aww. the angels turn to stone. We've been getting this message about how there's possibly eight dimensions who think of themselves as the top, who That's all need right. to come down. This message for about a week. Is that what's happening? Is there anybody up there above these who are turning to stone who does not think of their dimension as the top? I feel a pulling up that usually means yes. Yeah, I feel that feeling also. Okay. Okay. Can you guys get rid of these intervening dimensions? Just compress the accordion. Bring divinity closer to the dense dimensions. They aren't doing what the situation actually calls for. That's you, you can feel it energetically, what the situation calls <laughs> for. And what they're doing is something else. What now? I think we wrap, submit, and get a new question. Yeah, I that's what so. we do.